what is going on guys welcome back to the channel man of course it's mods gaming appreciate y'all for being here as always man like subscribe sub up share out all that good stuff man you guys know what it is okay so today uh we got a little uh tidbit of information from rockstar games earlier today um basically yeah it's the uh GT Online Summer DLC. Now, uh, typically, Summer isn't usually a huge DLC, but uh, as I'm going to pull up on the screen here in just a second, you guys will see. I'm going to read directly from the Newswire. Um, they're going to be pretty big, so I, I, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, here's an image we got there of uh, you know some players there and some uh, I guess kind of cop-like uniforms there. I'm going to zoom in there on that taser. It looks like a new taser. I think the one we have are currently in a different color. So that might be cool. Not really useful against players, but maybe NPCs, right? Uh, and this would actually be a good time, Rockstar, to uh, add some police uh, outfits. Let's see these characters have. Looks like it's another form of the body armor we already have, but we'll see, right? So coming this summer, a new brand of Vigilante Justice, plus new off the books, this pack works for Vincent, updates the creator, and more. In the words of Mod whatever the hell her last name is the world is full of scum and detritus it is only right that we all bear our share this summer it's time for some high value target practice to clean up the roving up rates of southern stand drills with your very own bail enforcement and body hunting business in the next major update for gta online yeah major update right we'll see how that works uh meanwhile back in town vincent needs help enforcing his authority uh, without official oversight, get behind the wheel of your souped-up cruisers, so maybe some you know extra cop cars. Basically, what this is is just leftover cops and crooks DLC that they never released way back in the day, right? And conduct a range of uh, off the books, yeah, souped-up cruiser there, off the books enforcement activities across Los Santos. Plus, utilize new tools and props to create custom high octane drift and drag races in the creator. Much more later this month. The summer's action pack GT Online update also delivers a collection of new rides to cover and collect. Of course, new vehicles will be dropping. Boost your pads across a number of existing modes and missions, including taxi works, open wheel races, and Operation Paper Trail, and more. Yeah, that, yeah, because everybody loves doing taxi work, right? And, and, and Operation Paper Trail. There is a dedicated open wheel community, though. So that's cool for them. Uh, I'm not much of a racer, but. Uh, creator upgrades, belly on the suite of schools already massively employed by the community. Are the latest new additions to the features to the creator, including the expansion of custom drift race tracks and uh, drag race circuits. Um, I'm going mostly faster my scrolling, but very <laughs> easy. Your crew is going to have test from any choosing checkpoint uh, for winners declared. It basically, yeah, it's just new, uh, you know, new drag race stuff. Uh, I don't know why I'm scrolling so fast. Uh, experience update is part of our ongoing efforts to improve the GTA Online player experience. The summer's update will feature a number of experience improvements based on your requests and feedback shared via the GTA Online feedback website. So that's cool. These changes include an increased sale uh, mission timer to make it easier for solo players on uh, bikers and gun running sales. That'll be helpful, I'm sure, especially the Doom Buggy missions are horrible. Uh, snacks automatically replenishing when launching most missions. Buffing defensive and armor capabilities for the Sparrow and Bambushka is interesting those two vehicles this probably makes sense because kyle right but the bambushka of all places there's so many vehicles that need to be a buff guys i'm not even gonna get into it right now um yeah i'm kind of just zooming in there on the bambushka and spiral as we continue to monitor and balance payouts to ensure all mission types are fun and rewarding we'll be increasing base payouts for players taking part in the open wheel races of course like mentioned before taxi work and many contact missions and more gta plus members on ps5 and xbox series x and s yeah, and more. Okay. <laughs> to claim the new old flawed Pepistrello supercar for free as part of the number of benefits on this day this summer. update launches a week before it becomes available to all players. Of course, I got to you know, benefit GTA Plus guys. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Extra million dollars, including, you know, on top of that, already 500000 which ain't really jack in this game. You can earn that literally in like an hour of playing Kyle. And yeah, just, I'm just, okay. Uh, Note yourself next time we gotta slow down the scroll. <laughs> I'm not used to this, guys. But anyway, so all right. Um, my thoughts on all this. Let, let's. There's a lot to unpack here. Uh, first of all, um, I just want to make it. You know, no. I. First of all, guys, any of you guys that are new to GTA Online or only been around for a year or two, or whatever. Um, do not get your hopes up. Okay, uh, Rockstar are the kings of the letdown. 
Okay, they absolutely uh, love to punish their player base for whatever the frick reason. Uh, don't want to be negative. I'm hoping this is great, and you know, like I said in one of my other videos, I hope they go out with a bang. Okay, uh, but first of all, the summer DLCs. Uh, I have seven, eight years of experience. I can tell you that it's usually not that big. Um, you know, nothing like Kyle or the contract DLC or anything like that. Uh, Bounty hunting has been in the game since day one, so I'm hoping that um, you know you can do like other players, like go after other players, kind of like how we already do, but maybe with a lot, a lot higher of a payout than what we get now for collecting a bounty nine grand at the most. <laughs> like that's not worth doing. Um, so you know, imagine upping that to like a hundred grand per player or something like that, and that would really bring uh, it would bring a new element to PvP. I mean, the PvP in this game, as it is right now, is kind of trash, guys. I think most of us know that. Um, so it would be uh, absolutely a welcome uh, a thing. I know I would uh, like to definitely get back into some of that as well. So we'll see how that unfolds with the business. I'm not sure exactly how they can do that. If it's just NPCs, you're only getting maybe 20, 30,000 at the most. I mean, it's not really going to go that far. When We already got things like Diamond Casino Heist and all that good stuff. And Kyle, obviously, right? So, um, yeah, more Vincent missions, uh, definitely, you know, I like Vincent as a character, he's a, he's a good NPC, um, hopefully new, uh, new cop cars to go along, we already have, like I said, this is basically just kind of a, you know, the cops and crooks DLC that never was, right, they're just kind of really releasing it under different guys, but, uh, that would be cool, uh, some missions for Vincent, uh, kind of like the collecting bell raid and all that stuff, just kind of expanding on that, that would be awesome, um, Trying to boost taxi work and open wheel races. I know there's a, a dedicated open wheel community, and that's cool. Uh, hey, I'm not really much of a racer, but, you know, big ups to those guys. Uh, I'm not hating on them in any way, shape, or form. Um, you know, that that's cool. Um, I, I don't race, really, but a lot of people do. So that's that's cool for them. Taxi work, unless they're, like, quad 10 times, that nobody's going to do that. I'm sorry, that was absolute trash. You can't go from things like Kyle and, and Doomsday and all that stuff to taxi work, guys. That's just, that's just stupid. I'm sorry it is. <laughs> Um, cop outfits, like I mentioned earlier, that'd be great. We definitely need some actual, uh, you know, instead of having to keep glitching the, the you know, the police outfit. Obviously, I'm not above glitched outfits, as you can see there, with my little wireframe fit there. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice to actually have a, um, you know, and for us buffers out there, we can make some really sick outfits, you know, make some joggers with some police stuff. Let's go, right? And some new cop belts. Uh, but for you guys who are not into that, just you know, just straight up cop outfits would be would be cool, right? For both male and female characters. Um, new taser, uh, hopefully with more weapons than just that taser gun. Uh, like I said, this is just the initial, you know, teaser, whatever from Rockstar. We probably got another month or whatever before this comes out. I'm gonna guess July, probably early July. It's usually when it, usually when it uh, sort of DLC drops, you know, the beginning to middle of July. Uh, so we still got plenty of time there. No big deal. Um, I would definitely like to see. Uh, more weapons than that, though. Maybe a couple ARs, uh, a new sniper rifle that's not absolute trash, like the precision rifle. Um, you know, maybe uh, an upgraded home launcher would be nice. Uh, you know what I mean? For our, our little friends that like to fly around the flying bikes, um, that's still absolutely a, a huge threat in this game. Uh, and, and definitely uh, not what it was, but it, it's still very much, very much prevalent. I don't think the, the Mark II needs more of a nerf. I think if anything, they need to bring the missiles back. I, I like the common measures, not having be able, to be able to spam that like they were. But um, you know, we have things like uh, you know, if, we had, if you had the uh, upgraded you know, homing launcher and things like that, something that had like you know, like deluxe missiles or something like that. But you have limited capacity, right? And you can't just keep spamming it from the interaction menu. Maybe you have to go somewhere and actually buy it from wherever, you know, like another gun band location or one of our properties or something like that. That way, you couldn't spam that. But that, that would help, because the Mark II, like I said, and this is not a Mark II video, but those missiles benefited grinders more than anything, because that's what made it, you know, give you some kind of a, 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 a fighting chance against uh, these freaking aimed by NPCs that I got in this game. But anyway, so moving on from that, I won't keep going off with the Mark II. Um, increased timer for uh, biker and gun running sales. Uh, I, I loved gun running back in the day, guys. I wish they'd add more bunker Missions, I'd get back into that. That was my main grind for a long time, that and crates. Uh, that'd be cool if they had some new crate missions, too. It'd be nice. I, don't, I mean, don't, I'm not going to hold my breath, but uh, that would be cool. Uh, biker, uh, I mean, as long as they have the post option, man, the trash trucks, I'm sorry. Biker is just, uh, it's, 
it's just like pulling teeth, guys. It's absolutely horrible. I haven't done it in years for good reason. They took out the best mission there a couple of years ago. The duffel bag mission was the only one of well the helicopter ones aren't too bad too and then the one where you get like just the one big truck or whatever but the rest of them are just absolute uh ass i'm sorry but they are so we'll see uh we'll see how it goes with that i'm not really sure but uh we'll see how it goes with that um uh, the only really crappy one for the bunkers the i think the dune buggy one is just horrible so that's cool they're gonna increase the time for that and i think the, the monster truck one is only like 15 minutes too but usually you can do that no problem uh it's interesting that they uh, are choosing to buff the I mean, the sparrow makes sense, you know, because it's, you know, you use that for Kyle preps and stuff like that. But, you know, you can do all this stuff in invite only lobby now, so I don't know why. I don't know. Uh, yeah, if you want to buff the Babushka or whatever, that's great. And that too many people use that. I mean, it's, it's first of all, it's a two-player vehicle. Second of all, the gun's have been bugged on it for a while. Uh, and if they're going to do that, they need to buff, uh, you know, a lot of the aircraft. Like I said, the helicopters all need to buff. Uh, you know, like the Volta and, and uh, Alkanos. Well, I don't know why anybody want to use those vehicles, but some people do like them. Uh, all that good stuff. Um, you know, the Rune 3000 there, CEO vehicles need a buff. Um, I mean, geez, there's just somebody that's Chernabog. Uh, man, there's just a lot of vehicles that really need a buff. Um, you know, the jetpack, a lot of this stuff. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. Like I said, this is the beginning, you know, initial teaser thing from Rockstar or whatever. Who knows? Um, hopefully, uh, like I said, they release more uh, information, you know, next week or whatever, or maybe even later this week, because it's, it's, uh, it's now, what, Thursday, uh, so today's update day. We'll see, uh, we'll see what that looks like, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, I think we still got a few more good DLCs, you know, GTA 6 is still a ways away, guys, so, uh, definitely, uh, we still got some doozies left. I don't expect a whole lot from this one, but... I think we're definitely going to get uh, a real humdinger in December, uh, you know, which is obviously our own Christmas time is always our biggest DLC time, uh, as well as should be, right? Because, you know, uh, nothing sells shark comes like Christmas time. Right? <laughs> that's, just, that's just how it goes, guys. This is how it goes. But, yeah, man, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You know, I'm, uh, I'm slightly, you know, excited. I always like DLC time around GTA. But like I said, guys, don't get your hopes up too much. Rockstar are the kings of the light down. And, and hopefully I'm wrong, but, you know, history is, is shown that I usually, uh, a lot of us are not. So anyway, yeah, like, subscribe, guys. Share out. Appreciate you for being here, man. Um, just a quick little, little, uh, little talk about the, you know, the upcoming DLC. Like I said, we'll get some more information here within the coming weeks. And, yeah, guys, hopefully uh, hopefully it's a good one. Some good quality life updates. Thanks, you appreciate you for being here, man. Like, subscribe, share out, man. I will see you crazy people in the next one. This is Mods Gaming, and I'm out of here, man. Later, guys.